You know, seeing a female protagonist with a laser sword fighting some kind of guy that shoots things out of his hands and has a death weapon kind of reminded me of something, but I can't quite remember what it is. It's gonna drive me nuts. Anyway, more Llama Lana 2. Previously, we fought Atten Ra, and he died. And now we have a laser weapon, because of Spalder. If you're confused about Spalder, um, we haven't been at the area where the tablet is yet. And I lied to you, we're going back to hell just for a little bit. But I have to prepare some things first. I'm at the Icefire Treetops. As you can see, I took the liberty of farming things with Treasure Fairy. And I had Laser Knife. Now I got Laser Katana. And we're gonna head to Immortal Battlefield. Also, I should check up on Elder Zelpud and Phobo, see how they're doing. But let's check in on Mobra first. She's right here anyway. If she's still throwing those rice ball bombs, she doesn't have new information for us. You would think I just killed a guardian, she might have some new information. But we're gonna head out on this way instead. Also, I need to take a stop at the hot spring so I don't have a repeat adventure like I did the last time Eternal Prison came up. Even though it's going to be a short visit, probably. Maybe. I have an idea of where a tablet might be that has some very important information that I don't want to skip past. It's a mantra combination, too. Okay, give me that harp. I need it for things. I'm gonna need to take this to Heaven's Labyrinth. Man, he's very happy about getting that harp sold. Also, that guy... What was he a reference to? I forget now. Oh, um, there's a game called H-E-R-O. Like an acronym? He he's the main character in it. Anyway, we're taking the harp to... Heaven's Labyrinth. We're gonna show it to Orpheus, and he's gonna teach us music. Or something. He'll teach us how to play the harp. I can just remember how I get there, because I haven't been in Heaven's Labyrinth for a while. I remember Eros quite well, but I don't remember where Orpheus is. Alright, it's this room. Hey Orpheus, I got a harp! It it's not his harp. It's custom made! So, we can't get music with this. He refuses this harp. Maybe he could find a recording. Hey, I know a shop run by a pig. Ah, that means I gotta farm more gold. Yeah, I'm working on that, buddy, okay? Ah, he's so expensive. Okay, maybe, maybe we could cut a deal with, like, the pork shop or something. Because I don't want to farm another, like, 1,500 gold. I have other things to do with my day. Ah, get katana in the face. Yeah, that maybe that's how I, I deal with the pork shop. Katana her in the face. Sounds like a good idea. Also, there's blue skeletons here now, too. So, that upsets me a little bit. I can't kill blue skeletons. Why throw blue skeletons at me so much? Why throw Garms at me so much? I was told I have to say a word at a Garm, but I don't think that's the right Garm. Hey, wait a second. That was 1500 before, wasn't it? So she thought people would buy it if she boosted the price, and now it's, um, cheaper. Can you make it cheaper than that, too? Eh? How about 20? So, because you got a hint from Orpheus, you get a discount at the pork item shop. And you only spend 50 for Anga Musica. Which means we have the power of music. Once I activate the app, of course. Um, do I have enough information? Yeah, I have just enough room. Oh, where is it now? Oh, I was right. Oh, it's 200 megabytes. It's 50 gold. I'm gonna need to make room. I don't think we need snapshots for a while. I don't think we need skull for a while. Ray scanner is still fun, so I'm gonna just keep that. Now we got music. It's the title theme music, Lumi's theme. Oh hey, this one sounds th this one's familiar. It is familiar. That's old Lamalana music. 
remixed for La Mulana 2. So we got lots of area music. We got Valhalla here. I think this is Heaven's Labyrinth. No, that's uh, something else. I think that's Do It Fairies. I think this is a Nuvin. can't seem to remember. I'm not good at remembering music. Hey, Eden! My button got stuck. That sounds like paradise. Let's go play an Eden to that, uh, Eurydice fella. Eurydice girl. And the Blood Corridor. Of course you could go through that music all day long. Too bad it stops playing when we leave the app. So, I know where I'm taking this. Eternal Prison Gloom! Oh, there's a, a information around Ice Fire Treetops, too. But, we're just taking a short visit into hell. Don't mind us. Right here at Eurydice. I got your music! I wonder if I have to play it, like, right on top of her, or, if she, or if she'll accept it from afar. You know what, let's get closer. Hi, I'm back! You want to hear Paradise, don't you? I'm taking requests. I'll be your MC. Let's, let's play Eden for her. That's all you get. Puzzle solved. A little bit of harp does it good. Yeah, he kind of lost his harp, but let's not tell her that. Yeah, the seven gates again. Also, fake gates. The hidden gates. Only the true gates will take away our stuff. And of course, we'll get murdered if we take the wrong gates. I don't need to hear that again. We've heard that many times before. They're like drilling it into our mind. Thanks a lot, Lucifer. Yep, now we got this area. Nippa Heller! We were informed about Nippa Heller from Yama. Yama told us there's a weapon waiting for us in Nippa Heller. I'm ready for a new weapon. Where is that weapon at? Show me the weapon. Maybe Lucifer is the weapon. Maybe I get to wield a Lucifer in battle. He becomes my shield. It's not very durable, though. I don't like that. Words of the trials are the words of the lords. The lords are the three pillars of light. That's information for a puzzle we're going to be doing to activate the seventh boss. I'm not going to save it. But is it'll be pretty clear once we get there. I see a fairy point, and I might want to treasure a uh, key fairy eventually. So I'm gonna leave that there. What about this tablet? The statue of Garm. Enchant the words of awakening. That's a big Garm. Well, we were told the words of awakening. Where did I save those at? Ah, yes, Hermod. Fire erupting from the earth stretches towards the sun. So we'll need Elder Yoro Soul. Yoro Soul Elder! And get the heck out of the way! Garm would have squashed you flat and you would have died. I don't like that. I don't approve of that. I would have to play Eden all over again and all that. Hey, there's a. NPC spot up here, too. Or maybe it's a shop. It's Hades! He's the deity of the third children. He's wingless and powerless now. So he has information for us as well. I like how all the rulers, except for maybe Yama, are just like hanging out where they used to work. It's like being fired and you just come in every day because you're bored. Okay, tell me about the second child, Trickster. I haven't seen him in a while. So he had living imprisonment. Probably has to do with that poison that we freed him from from the beginning of the game. Oh, this is a different kind of imprisonment. This is, oh. I'm a dummy. The trickster I'm thinking of is the fifth children, the Aesir. He's talking about Sackett. So Sackett's been imprisoned somewhere in the underground and we have to uh, encant words at him. So of his living members, he's not a fan. 
No, he thinks they're a bunch of wusses now. He's not happy about a machine of some sort. Probably has to do with the Typhon. Mother's power is gone, but her will is not. At least it's affecting the fifth children still. They're using some kind of false power. It might be the Anunnaki's. It might be something else. It might be whatever is causing Eglana to act up. The Locopala, maybe? There's so many culprits! You again! It's probably you- Oh, wow, you got laser beams now. I don't approve of this. Wow, Ratatosker's powered up! He's Mega Ratatosker! I should've healed up! Well, this is bad. Yeah, that's bad. Let me get back to the room before this one, because I don't feel like I'm ready to fight Mega Ratatosker. Alright, I took care of the Garm again. I'm gonna try Mega Ratatosker one more time. I'm bringing Iron Ein with me. Ein will be my assistant. He's got laser beams. He's got regular beams. He has all kinds of beams. Man, that laser beam really tears through my shield. Ah, that's not where I wanted to be with a Mega Ratatosker running around. I want him to tackle something. Yeah, that's right. Get right, get right in there. Get right in there with the katana. Blind force time! That's right, try to tackle me. See where that gets you. Ah, you're not dead yet? He's still not dead! At least we got the Yongjo for the underworld. Ah, Mega Ratatosker hurts! Thanks a lot, Ayn. Or, um, you're not, your name's not Ayn, it's Ayr. What is your name? You're just a fairy to me. It's Ayr. Okay. Now that we know, thanks for healing me anyway. Where, where'd the music go? Where'd the music go? Ratatosker ate it! Okay, we got Underworld with no music. It must be a glitch. At least I got healing. At least I got laser swords. At least I got this tablet. This is the tablet I'm looking for. Spit Dagger asked someone how to get into the fortress hidden in the earth. Wind stirs the sea, fire burns the earth. That allows us to get something. I need that for the Brahma and for quite a few other puzzles we're going to be doing. Um, I, I don't like the music. It's actually creepier without the music. It's a little unnerving. I'm out of here. Let's go to Immortal Battlefield. Hopefully the music returns. Ah, thank goodness. Ratatusker killed my music with his laser beams. Ah, it's Godzilla breath. It smells like ozone. Alright, let's head to, um... I think I have to get over into that room there. Off to the right. I have to head to the armory. There is a hidden fortress in this area we have not explored yet because we don't know the words to get in. And if we spoke the wrong words, we would get shot with a laser beam. Ah, this is the wrong one. It's the wrong place. It's down a floor. This way. I like jumping off of traps right before they close on me, or open on me. Either way. That's ah, stupid, stupid bombs. I wish I had bombs, but no. Okay, this room, you chant the wrong words, you will get killed. So we're going to need, uh... Wind moves the earth. Uh, yeah, wind moves the earth. Yeah, earthquakes. Basically, we just need earth, wind, sea, and fire. I forget what the combination was now. I think it's Elder Yorosayer Vinder. What I just said! That opens up that area. Would you stop shooting me in the back? Thank you. And watch the heck out of this room. There's an energy beam down there. Luckily for me, I have a clay doll suit, but I also have grapple cloth. So that's helpful. I want that glossary, though. It's the Yurumungan. We can finally learn about him. 
he's the sixth children trickster. Well, one of the sons, at least. I wonder if the other one was called Polenke. Anyway, he has an enormous serpentine war machine. And he shoots at you. So we saved him and then murdered him. Yeah, we can't really do anything with that chest from here, and I see a prophecy tablet, too. But we need to be able to double jump to get to the, the sigil here. But we can't get to the chest. Well, that's vexing. Luckily, I have the backside grail point, so I don't have to walk as far. Because there's a room we've been to that has a secret exit to it. It's off in this direction. Um, it had that beam of light and an NPC thing in there. Also, if I remember correctly, there's a tablet that says, uh, shoot at the figure before you. That's what this is all about, to get the dinosaur figure. I think that was in, um... I forget where it was now. I know I looked it up somewhere. Like, after, after I solved the puzzle. I usually just solve that puzzle in my own time. Alright, secret entrance is right here. That allows you access to this room. The Buried Fortress. And we get... A battery! That looks like a vase! Oh, I hope it has a charge yet. And we get prophecy number four. Final gates being pried open. Murderous blood drenched in tents. That sounds like a prophecy for the ages. So we got one, two, three, four, and five. We're done the prophecy. We got it all. I mean, we didn't really... I don't think we really did anything with the prophecy yet. But, oh. There we go. Now it's in order. Heimdall's blowing his horn. Yggdrasil shaking. There's goddesses who spin time. No place it visits to be missing, huh? Something about Ratatosker. Then the Alpha saw the end of the world. A red star that grants a wish. Then there's a vortex and blood dredged intent. And then the sun and the moon do things. You can't see its true form unless you conjure up their power. That's the prophecy. So, there's a few things we could do. Um, we could go get an item that's really important for a few puzzles. Especially getting the powers of time. Eh, let's go to Dark Star Lords right now. Because the thing I'm thinking of is the Brahma puzzles. And we're already at like eh, 17 minutes or so, 18 minutes. So I don't want to start something that convoluted right away. I'll save that for the next video. We'll solve the Brahma puzzle in the next video. And it's a really messed up one. Alright, we need to get into this pyramid. I want to get into this pyramid. We haven't been in this room yet. The mantra of fire represents battle. That is a clue for Ancient Chaos's fire uh, mantra. It's just like sitting out in the open. So we gotta get around the back side of this thing. Like to the other side of this room. There's a pillar right there that I could have swung around, but I didn't have Molnir at the time, so I said it's not important to us right now. I know what I'm doing. I'm getting lost, that's what I'm doing. I'm getting my soul drained, that's what I'm doing. And down here, I need to figure this out for a second without skeletons accosting me. Let's get rid of everything in this room so I can think. Maybe I'll just put my face against it. That'll help me think. But you stop! But the blue skeletons just stop for a second. Just for one second. Give me some peace. Ah, breakable wall. That's where it is. Sekhmet. That's the Sekhmet glossary data. Yeah, that's Agro Mingyu again. She's guarding the Dark Star Lord's mausoleum ever since being sealed in Iglana. Her combat prowess can be cheesed out by platforms. At least we found that. I knew it was somewhere in this room. Would you... I'm just yelling at a brick wall, aren't I? A bone wall. The bones will not listen to me. I gotta make the bones listen to me. Like, would you guys please die? 
Just die for once. I got a laser sword. What do you want from me? Welcome to this room. This is how we get into the pyramid. You might think it involves something that encases a pyramid. We don't really need that just yet. Besides, there's a, uh, a rock that has star power, and it's uh, it's really rocking out the Guitar Hero, or something like that. We're not ready for that puzzle either. What we need is the power of Molnir. Give me some lightning. Don't charge yourself greater than three, you'll hit yourself at lightning, and that's not good. There we go. I think you have to give it three charges. It might be just one, but I don't like the accuracy on this thing. Might as well be certain. So, welcome to the Great Star Lord's... The Great Star Lord's Pyramid. He's also pretty dark. I heard this from a few people. More blue skeletons. The Lord of the Sky is looking down. It's waiting for a new Dark Star Lord. Yeah, we'll eventually become a Dark Star Lord. We do know most of the puzzle involving this place. But me, I just want to climb all over a pyramid. It kind of reminds me of the Temple of the Sun. Actually, more like the Temple of the Moon, but right side up. It's got a lot of blue going on. Also, I'm immune to souls now. So, this looks like it wants to fall on me. That looks like it wants to fall on me. If I hit it, I would get lightning bolted. And I went like that. This is the rear exit. This is where the servants come in. This is the servants entrance. It's made of crystal dudes. So, there's not much to do in here. What time are we at? About 22 minutes? Man, this pyramid was not worth the time I invested into it. Maybe we should do a little bit of Heaven's Labyrinth. You know, just to round out our evening. Because we know the word to turn the Heaven Labyrinth. We're going to have to cast... Heaven! That allows us to turn it. Because of the Kamigahara shrine tablet thing. Heaven! And we just turned it. Now there's different rooms we could enter. Oh hey, there's a fairy point. I didn't know the fairy points show up on the maps. Well, I guess we know now. So we don't need this text anymore. Where is that one at? Um, get rid of this one. We don't need Garm no more. Delete. Where's the one that told us about, uh... Yeah, Labyrinth of the Wing. We don't need that one no more. Got all this Brahma. Look at all this Brahma I have. I got tablets full of Brahma. Did I use that joke already? Yeah, I'm using it again. Yeah, we can't go down now. That's sealed off because we turned the rooms. Let's go down this way. We go through the Typhon and look! Typhon's... It should be working. Oh, I'm sorry. I wanted to kill the harpy. Is this operating now? It looks like it's got lights. Oh, I have to hit those pedestals. It's not working yet. I gotta fix this. Let's go this way. Now we can activate the lights and we can find out about Typhon. Open sesame. Can't walk through it. It just opens up those photovoltaic cells. It's a green Typhon. Am I stuck in this room? I'm stuck in this room. I gotta teleport out. Well, darn! You know what? We'll activate the Typhon, and next video, before we go and do Brahma, we'll talk to a different kind of digital wise man. We'll talk to the Typhon. It's gonna be computer day! Once I realize how I get to that other room with the light in it. Man, it's a long detour. Can't believe I gotta kill peacocks. What have you made me do, Eglana? It's terrible. There's the other light. Blue skeleton scalore. Everywhere! Everywhere there's a blue skeleton! Lizard man, at least I could deal with. Typhon has been activated. Next time on Lamalana 2, I get healed up and we talk to the Typhon. Good night, folks.